can help him. Anyway, um, like I said, I'm not bloated anymore. This is flat. Like, I used to look like I was dang pregnant with twins all the time. Bloated, miserable, hurting. That don't happen anymore. It was every time I ate anything, I would blow up. It was ridiculous. All right, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, my bloating. So, and we had to, we had to go across the street, pick up a trailer, switch out trailers, um, drop that trailer, pick up a new trailer, come across the street to finish, so they could finish loading the rest of the trailer. So it's halfway loaded, they gotta load it uh, the rest of the way, and then we'll be able to leave with the trailer. So that's what Brian's doing right now. He's going to check in. But anyway, I'm bloating. So, yeah, I was bloated. And it was getting so bad. Um, my knees hurt so bad. Before, you know, we tried this keto and keto board and all this. My, my knees were so bad. I had to take one, every step. I had to step down, put one foot down. Hold on to the railing so I don't fall because my knees will give out. I used to step on one step. Get the other foot and put it on the step. And then do that all the way down the stairs like boom, 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 boom. All the way down to the bottom step hanging on the railing. And we lived in a two-story house. You can see from my other video I showed you the house. But we used to live in a two-story house. So up the stairs was better but down the stairs hurt my knees so bad and I, and my legs were so swollen I was getting the I don't know you call it pitting edema but you push down and it's like leaves a uh, not really leaves a dent but leaves a mark and then a white mark and then you press it back out and it's like dang I was so swollen um you know I, I have uh, I keep talking about um a condition called HS Hydrodenitis suppurativa. It's supposed to be an uh, autoimmune disease that no one knows the cure before. There's no doctor who's going to know how to cure it. Um, you know, I, that was continually get worse. I tried the Humira shots and now I'm just now finding out that Humira makes you tired. And I was in the operating room. I was um, a surgical assistant for oral surgeon. I mean, I worked for him for seven years. I'm sorry, ten years. And I'm in the sur I'm in the operating room, like just falling asleep, standing up. And I didn't know. I thought it because I was also diagnosed with narcolepsy, sleep apnea. Um, I thought it was my narcolepsy. I was like, okay, well, then they prescribed me Adderall. So I started taking Adderall. Then I get a drug test at the hospital, which. My Adderall had gotten old because, you know, I hardly took it. I only took it if needed. So I took it that morning because if I go to the hospital, I was trying not to fall asleep on, you know, in the operating room on a patient. So I was taking the Adderall. Well, then uh, the hospital was like, oh, drug test, random drug test. Go get your drug test. So uh, me and the assistant, my friend, we went and go, uh, go take our drug test. And I told the lady, I was like, well, I take Adderall because of my narcolepsy. And she was like, well, it better not be in your system because then you're going to test positive. And I was like, well, what about uh, if I have a, a doctor's note or something? I can't remember how it went. And it was like, the answer was like, it better not be in your system. And so, you know, it's like, darn if you do, darn if you don't on this stuff. It, and I, you know, I didn't know it was the Humira I was, that I was taking. I took that for a whole year and then I stopped taking it because, one, I only seen a slight improvement. I didn't see a miracle where my bumps got better. I would continue to get big, huge bumps in between on, on the insides of my thighs, which rubbed every time I walked and they were um, bleeding and every, I mean, it was just, it was horrible. And the sweat and the and the fatness and the rubbing and the heat and everything was not helping. I, I would have to literally tape um, women's feminine pads to the inside of my legs to get through the day. And then, um, not to mention all the other, you know, uh, in the armpits and, you know, having bumps there. That's very uncomfortable. I have one, you know, I have one right now that I'm dealing with. 
just put a band-aid on it. But it's, it's been going on for months and months and months. So, like, there's that one. And then I, you know, have them over here. And then, you know, they just... Sometimes, um, well, and then I had the pilonidal surgery, and, um, you know, that was a big ordeal. That was the worst pain ever. But anyway, it's, a, uh, it's kind of a separate thing. So, um, I don't know what I was talking about with that. But anyway, so I was having a lot of health issues, and the sleep apnea continues today. I feel like I take naps sometimes and I don't have my machine on my face nowadays because I have lost thir uh, I have lost 73 pounds so far by this um, keto, keto war style, you know, now keto war style of living since the last two, two and a half months of just keto war. And um, so total um, from my heaviest weight till now, 73 pounds has been lost off of my, you know, body. The breathing has gotten better. I can actually take a deep breath. It was getting to the point where I could not inhale a whole full breath. I was like, and I couldn't like get to the point of full expansion of my lungs. I was like, <sighs> and it actually was hurting to do a full breath. And now I'm like, <sighs> and I can take a full, you know, a full breath now. <clears throat> And you know, this, the swell, I think it was the inflammation, the swelling and everything. And it was like, um, my wrist, they were like for seven years, I could re injure my wrist all the time. Like I would have to sometimes wear a brace uh, on my wrist because it was from an injury that I had hauling, uh, dirt from a project before. But, um, you know, it was like my joints and everything. I just thought, well, gosh, this HS is really taking me down. You know, I'm just, I had real low hopes of, you know, getting better. I felt like, you know, you see, you see the pictures and you hear the people's stories and some people, they obviously have it way worse than me. They have it on their face, their neck, their back, uh, their chest. They have it all over and it's like, it's all connecting and all getting worse and worse. And I don't have it like that, so I always have to be, like, thankful that it's not that bad. Just this one hanging around for months is like, I could deal with that, you know, and I have some in my groin that just pop up here and there, just boils, you know. They just hurt a little bit, you know. Sometimes they hurt more than others, and then it goes away, and then, you know, you get more. But anyway, uh, what I was trying to say about, about that with the people having it. Uh, anyway, well, I was just saying that, you know, I was thinking that I was just preparing for the depression of having that forever. It really did make me depressed when, you know, when I was diagnosed with it because I, I had a, a lymph, I think it's a lymph node on the side of my neck and it like popped up and I was like, what the heck? When I had this one, th this has been really going on for like, let's see, I was there for, let's say maybe 10 years or something like that.